Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, oh look, that's cute. Today we're going to be doing Project Using All My Makeup, episode 8. So many episodes, you guys. We are so far along on this journey. I'm so excited. We're so close to being done. Um, so I just wanted to film a quick little intro and then we will get into the makeup. Alrighty, so let's start with perfumes. We had five samples and one roller ball. The roller ball is the English laundry roller ball and I really like this so definitely keeping that one. And then the two perfumes that I didn't like that I'm getting rid of are Nautica Bermuda Blue and Polo Black. These just like didn't do it for me so I'm not going to keep those but I am going to keep the um, Armani Code, uh, Dolce & Gabbana Desire, and Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. Not that you can see that. So I'm going to keep all of those. Next up we have the lip crayons. So these are the four lip crayons and I'm going to get rid of just one of them. Um, the CoverGirl Jumbo Lip Balm. This is pretty but these products just make my lip break, lips break out. So as pretty as it is, I'm going to get rid of that one because, uh, it's just gonna make me break out. It's not worth the risk. But I'm gonna keep the Hourglass. This is the Lip Stylo in Believer. This is like my perfect nude, super comfortable formula. Ignore all those other swatches. I'm also gonna keep the NARS Lip Velvet in Cruella. It's like a the only matte red that I have, so I wanna keep that one. And then I'm also gonna keep the Urban Decay Super Saturated and Naked because holy crap, look at that. So nobody ever talks about these, but they're super creamy and glossy and beautiful. I'm trying to swatch things because I know you guys requested that. So um, these videos might get a little bit longer. Next up we have the lip balms. So I'm missing one of the lip balms, but I'm actually gonna get rid of it. And it's the Revlon Kiss Plump Gloss. I originally liked it, but I don't anymore. And I, I don't feel the need to keep it. But these are the other two, and I'm going to keep both of these. The Bite Agave Lip Mask is just so good. Super comfortable, super hydrating. Like, would never get rid of that. And then the L'Oreal, this is the Pop Balm in number 420, Bold Blush. This is like a really pretty pink, like light pink tint and I think it'll be really pretty in the summer so I'm gonna keep that one as well so I'm gonna keep both of those so then we have three lip liners and I think I'm gonna get rid of the one in the middle so the Marc Jacobs one is really pretty and it's a really good color for me it's more like warm than some lip liners and it's a little bit darker and then the Rimmel Exaggerate one is like a super light lip liner the Rimmel Exaggerate is super cool tone, so I'm going to get rid of that one too because I'm not a fan of cool tone lip products. And then this is ColourPop Razor. And that one's just way darker than anything I use, so I'm going to get rid of that one. So I'm going to get rid of the Rimmel and ColourPop ones and keep the Marc Jacobs one. Okay, then for brows, we have these four. The L'Oreal Brow Pomade got a silver star. This one is just a really good brow pomade. I really, really love it. The Benefit Goof Proof also got a silver star. This is in a shade that's a little bit too dark for me, but I still really, really like it. It's like the triangle shaped one. It Cosmetics Brow Power, I also really like. I had a sample of this and like was kind of underwhelmed by it, but now I actually really like it. So that one's gonna be silver. Oh no, I gave it blue. I lied. Look at the little blue little sparkly heart. And then the last product is Wonder Brow, and I gave this yellow just because I'm not sure about the color, um, but I want to keep playing with it. So I'm going to keep it around. I gave it yellow. We'll see what happens. We had five mascaras this time, and I'm getting rid of three of them. So the two that I'm keeping are the Koki Volume and Length Mascara and the Tarte Tardis Mascara. The Tarte Tardis one got silver. Koki got blue. These are both pretty good, so I'm keeping those. All three of these are gonna go. The Makeup Forever one just literally did nothing for my lashes. The Smashbox Full Exposure one did nothing for my lashes. The Stila Huge Lash looked so good when I put it on. I gave it a blue sticker, but then it got everywhere. Like on my brow, on my lower, like under my eyes. Like, it, no, I don't have time for that. I don't want it. So all three of those are gonna go. Four more, these are the cream shadows. I am getting rid of this Wet n Wild uh, eyeshadow primer. I took it to the wedding I went to this past weekend and it made my eyeshadow look so bad. So no, I'll stick with concealer. The Julep Eye Pencil in Coco. Let me I made it yellow. That's it right there. I just don't think I'm a fan of matte cream shadows. 
but I want to give it one more shot. So I made it yellow and we'll see what happens with it. The Stila, I think this is Diamond Dust. This is one of those ones that you can put over any color and it just kind of picks up the color of what it's over and makes it look really pretty. But really, it's just like, it's one of the ones that's more glittery and doesn't really have a colored base to it. And I really freaking love it. Tristique Eye Crown in Venetian Gold. This just isn't my color. It's more of like a green gold. I don't know if you can see that. Like a rustic gold. And it's just not my favorite. So I don't think I'm going to reach for it. I don't think I'm going to wear it. So I gave it red. And it's going to go. And now there's glitter all over my hand. Yay! And those lip liners won't come off. Okay, moving right along. Am I recording? Oh, thank God. I was about to cry. Four eyeliners. Two of them I'm keeping. Well, I'm keeping all four of them, but two of them are yellow. The Milani and the Marc Jacobs ones are both yellow. Um, the Marc Jacobs one just, ah, just like, maybe it's a sample, but it's just not that black. And then the Milani one, I feel like it may crease, like may run. So I'm going to put these on trial. And then I'm definitely keeping these two. ColourPop Mr. Bing is an awesome brown liner. That one got blue. And then the Lord & Berry eyeliner got silver. It's just a really good black liner. So definitely keeping these two. These two are on trial. Three powder shadows. I am definitely keeping Amber Rush, you guys. L'Oreal Infallible Amber Rush. I don't even need to swatch this for you. I'm just going to show you what it looks like in there. This is beautiful on the lid. It's beautiful like all over blended out into the crease for an all over look it's just an incredible shadow and if you don't already have it go buy it the l'oreal one i gave it yellow i want to give it one more shot before i get rid of it but i really just need to look through my palettes and see if i have a blue like this because the formula of this one isn't that great let me see you know it's really light like compared to the shadow that's just not that intense i'm going to give it one more chance but chances are i will get rid of it and then the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Silver something, Silver Sky, I think. I gave it yellow, but I think I'm going to get rid of it because I really just didn't even leave it on my lids the day I put it on. I don't really like it. I don't really go for silver. And if I do, it'll be more of like a glitter. So sorry I didn't swatch the eyeliners. That was rude of me. Four powder products. <laughs> I almost dropped that. The Bare Minerals Invisible Light Palette. I'm going to keep this mostly for the highlighter. I gave it silver and then yellow. Powder in here is just okay. It will kind of mattify you down and like powder you down. But mostly I'm keeping this for the highlight. It's a really nice subtle highlight. The Cover Effects Powder. This one got a silver star. It's a really good. This is the mattifying one. This is the translucent uh, matte setting powder in light. Uh, it's just really good. So then there's these two. The Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm going to get rid of this one. It's too bright. It looks too obvious on my under eye. I gave it yellow at first, but this one's got to go. And then the Besame one, it's just too heavy on my under eye. It smells really good. It smells like vanilla. This is a Besame vanilla powder, but it's so heavy. It looks cakey. I just, I just didn't like it. So better to just let things go, you know? I'm never going to reach for it or use it. And it's really dark yellow. You guys, I thought I was going to get rid of this top one. I really did. But then I went and looked in the light. It's really pretty. So it turned out to be silver. Uh, this is the LA Girl Strobe Light Highlighter. Like I said, I wanted to not like it because it was a little powdery and like weird. But I ended up really liking that one. I'm keeping all of these. So you've got Mary Luminizer. That one got silver. Obviously, I'm going to keep this one. Then you've got the Laura Mercier um, Highlight 01. Definitely keeping that one. Hard Candy Tiki Bronzer. This one got yellow. So we'll put it on trial, but I think I'm going to keep that one. It's just not the best. Um, and then Wet n Wild Fergie. Definitely keeping this one. It was limited edition, so the chances of me getting rid of it were pretty slim to begin with. But it's also just a really beautiful highlighter. So keeping all of those highlighters. Alrighty, so I pulled four concealers, three of which ended up to be correctors. I'm getting rid of two of them. The NYX one made my under eyes super creasy and I'm not a fan of that. And then the Maybelline Master Camo, I pretty much knew I was going to get rid of this one from the beginning, but it is so dark and that's just going to look crazy on my under eye, even if I like blend it out. It's really dark orange and I don't want that, so getting rid of that but I'm keeping these two the uh, LA girl pro conceal in uh, I think it's called classic ivory is actually really pink and really correcting if you watch um, a get ready with me you can see that that's really a correcting shade so I'm keeping that one and then obviously this one got blue this is the L'Oreal 
Magic Lumi Concealer, and I love it. Four primers. I'm keeping all of them, but two of them are... Well, one of them is yellow. The Smashbox Photo Finish and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing are both just like kind of my go-to type of primer and I will use them and I will finish them eventually. So those are definitely staying. These two, um, the IPKN uh, New York one is the only, one of the few radiant primers that I have. So I like to keep it around not only for myself, but for when I'm doing my friend's makeup. So I'll probably keep that one. It's yellow, but I'm not going to put it with the yellow ones. And then the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I actually like this one, so I'm going to keep that one as well. It's just green, though. It's nothing special, but I'll, I'll finish it. Now we have cream products. The ColourPop Wisp highlighter definitely got blue. This is just a really beautiful highlighter. So I swatched these three. Um, like I said, Wisp, that's that top highlight right there, is just super stunning, and I'm definitely going to keep that one. And then the two cream blushes, this top one is the e.l.f. blush in Peach, Peach Perfection, and it's just a really nice peach cream blush. I like it. I will keep it. And then that bottom swatch, which you can barely see, is the Josie Marin um, Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelee. It's just too hard to get to. It's a little bit too bright for me, and so I'm just going to get rid of it. That was easy. The Temp 2 bronzer I actually didn't use, so I gotta put this back and use it next time. And then the two Cover FX highlighters, I like both of these. The darker one is not gonna be as useful, like I won't use it as much, but that one will be better for like on my body, but I do like it on my face as well, and then Celestial is more of like my face color, but I like them both. Alrighty, five foundations. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD one, I'm giving it a green star. It has its purposes. It's not the best foundation ever, but it's, it has its purposes. So I'm going to keep that one around, but it's just not like, it doesn't have a rating because it's not the best, it's not the worst. Um, the Laura Mercier one, I'm giving it a yellow because it still just doesn't freaking work for me. I'm still working on it. I want to keep working on it and figure out if I'm going to keep it. And then the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur, this is one of my favorite foundations. It truly blurs the skin and makes your skin look incredible. So I'm keeping all of those, but the Laura Mercier one's got to be tested. And then the other two, I'm keeping both of these. These both actually got blue. The NYX Total Control Cover Drops, or Total Control Drops, are just one of my favorite. These are actually probably almost done. And then the L'Oreal uh, True Match Lumine Cushion is just one of the few glowy foundations I have. It's nice to just throw on, um, so I'm going to keep it. So the three moisturizers, I'm getting rid of two of them. I did not like the Clinique Pep Start. Where's my red? I don't like the Clinique Pep Start. I feel like it made my skin look weird. It didn't wasn't very smooth, and I'm going to get rid of it. The MAC Strobe Kink Cream, I gave it a yellow at first, but I actually really liked this underneath my makeup. I just put it on like the parts of my skin that I wanted glowy, and I really liked that. And then the Nip and Fab eye thing just made my under eye really weird. I don't need another eye cream. I'm just going to get rid of it. It's just not worth it, so I'm going to get rid of it. I won't use it. I know myself. Setting spray, the Caudalie one, I'm keeping this one. It's really nice, and I paid a lot of money for it, so I'm definitely going to keep it. I just gave it green, but... I'm going to keep it. Oh my god, I feel like shit. The two drugstore palettes. Um, I'm going to keep one and get rid of one. I'm going to keep this one because it's my colors. If I ever just want to throw it in my bag, I can. So I'm, I'm going to keep testing it, but I'm pretty sure that will end up being kept. But the Maybelline City Mini Palette, these just aren't my colors. The shimmers are really nice, but that's all I'm going to use out of this palette. So I gave it red. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, it's just not, it's just not for me. And then I guess this one's drugstore too, the ColourPop one. This one I'm definitely going to keep. I'm running out of my stickers. These are really pretty. I like having some of the ColourPop shadows to kind of try and use. This is a nice, like I can use all of these together. So I'm definitely keeping that one. Modern Renaissance. Oh my God, I didn't put anything on it. Um, this one got a blue star. I know that I've said that this is overrated, and I do think it's overrated, but that doesn't mean I don't think it's good. So, keeping that one. Obviously, Too Faced Chocolate Bar, I also really like. I gave it a blue star. This is just a good palette full of neutrals to have. And then finally, the Lorac Mega Pro 2. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time, so that one is going to be blue. Truly one of the best. So, those are all the eyeshadows. I'm going to keep two of these and get rid of one. Um, Benefit Hula. Hmm, surprise, I still don't like it. I gave it a red star. The Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil. I'm still kind of iffy on it, so I gave it yellow because I want to keep, you know, figuring it out. But, yeah. I don't know. And then Milani Baked Bronzer in Dolce got silver. It's a really good bronzer. Bronzer. 
blush. Okay, so Tarte Sensual got a blue star. It's a really good blush. Very, like, a neutral blush. I really like it. The Studio Makeup one in Wildflower. Also really, really pretty. Kind of more pinky. And then the Makeup Forever sample, I gave it yellow. I'm going to keep it around just because, like, as a sample, I can probably put it in a project pan and try to use it up. But it just seemed a little patchy, so we're going to keep trying that one. And then the Ofra single... Honestly, I don't even remember what this was called, to be honest, but it's super pretty. So I'm going to keep all of this, and I need to kind of put more stuff in this palette, but I'm going to keep it. Sorry, I keep sniffling. Face palettes, um, the Blush Bazaar, oh, I didn't give it a sticker either. Okay, the Blush Bazaar got blue. This is just really nice to have a whole bunch of different color blushes. The Maybelline Master Contour, the light version, also got yellow. I need to compare this one to its darker sister. And just pick one and keep one if I'm going to keep one. I found myself not really liking most of this. So, yeah. Alrighty, now we were on to the lip products. So, I'm going to go ahead and swatch all the liquid lipsticks really quickly. There are a shit ton. Okay. Those are all of the liquid lipsticks swatched on my hand. Like I said, there are a lot. Starting from the top. Wet n Wild Nudie Patootie. I'm just going to get rid of it. Oh, I wish this was better colored. Like more accurate. Everything, imagine everything a lot more pale and a little bit warmer. Damn. I'm gonna make this one yellow. Fuck. I thought I was getting rid of things. This one's yellow. I wanna see if I can get some use out of it by mixing it with things. The next one down is the NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. This one, this one is also gonna be yellow. Um, I was gonna get rid of it, but then I remembered how many compliments I've gotten wearing it. I swatched it in my hand and it wasn't that bad, so... We're going to see. ColourPop Strut. This one is so dark and cool and just not my color. So it's the third one down right here. And that one's going to go. Ofra Americano. That's that really deep one kind of smack dab in the middle right there. It just, it's kind of dried out. It's not really a color I'm going to really reach for anymore. So I'm going to go. Huda Beauty in Bombshell. That's this one right here and I really like it it got green just because I don't feel like putting colored stars in all of my lip products um, the Maybelline vivid matte liquid that's this one right here and I really like it I'm gonna keep it it's one of those like cream matte gloss things Victoria's Secret velvet matte that's this one right here and I really like that formula it's really comfortable and really nice so I'm gonna keep that one that one got green there's too many lip products they're all green then we have the three Too Faced Melted Lip Colors. The lightest one, Holy Chic, is that top one, that pale one. Then Cool Girl is that really deep, cool one, which you'd think I'd get rid of because I got rid of that one. But um, I really like the formula. And then Stepping Out is this bottom one. I'm keeping all of those. Then on the side, we've got Tarte um, Birthday Suit. That's this one. It's a really beautiful color. I'm going to keep it. We've got Stila Perla. That's this bottom one. It's just too pink for me. It doesn't look really good, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And then we've got the Touch and Soul Metalist ones. I mean, like, come on. I'm never going to use that. That one's going to go. Okay, those are all the liquid lipsticks. Let me erase all of that if I will come off of my hand. Okay, lip glosses. Um, I don't think I'm going to swatch all these glosses because they all look the same. I'm just going to run through them. Um, the Koki Lip Veneer, I'm going to get rid of this one. It's just too pink. It's not my favorite. I'm not going to reach for it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Color Jolt and Strip Down, I'm keeping. This is absolutely beautiful. It's a really nice formula. It's a really nice color, so I'm keeping that one. Color Jolt and Ready or Not, I'm not going to keep because even though it's a really beautiful kind of more pinky red color, it kind of bled. For a red lip, like, I don't want my red lips to bleed, so I'm going to get rid of that one. The Hard Candy Plumping Gloss, I absolutely love this one, so this one I'm definitely keeping. Revlon Supernaturals, I'm going to keep one and get rid of one. I just tried to figure out which one was the oldest, because I don't need two, um, and I just went with the one that seemed like it was less full. It has, like, a little spot there where it seems like there's nothing in it, so going to keep this one, going to get rid of that one, solely because I don't need two of the same product. Japanesque Lip Lacquer sucked, so I'm going to get rid of that one. It's just weird. It's just a weird product. And then Fenty, I love this one. Obviously, I'm going to keep this one. It's just a great lip gloss. And then the last lip gloss is the Too Faced Melted Latex in pink something. What is this in? Hot Mess. I'm going to keep this one because I don't have very many bright pink things, so we'll keep that one. It's yellow, though, so I'm going to test it out. And then lastly, lipsticks. Let me swatch these. 
So we have eight lipsticks. These are the shades. So these first two are the two L'Oreal Glossy Color Reach in Glossy Fawn and Sparkling Rose. Um, I absolutely love both of those. I'm definitely keeping both of those. Urban Decay Naked, that's this one. I'm definitely keeping that one as well. It's a beautiful creamy formula and really comfortable. One. And then also by Urban Decay is Kiss Kiss or Big Bang and it's that one. And surprisingly, it looks really good on me and it's sparkly and I'm going to keep it. Then we have Dose of Colors No Shade. This is the Desi Katie Collection Collaboration. It's this one here. I'm never going to wear it. It looks totally terrible on me. But I'm keeping it because it's Desi Katie and I don't want to get rid of it. So keeping it for stupid reasons, but I don't care. I'm keeping it. Next up, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in Honey. That one is right there. It's less cool tone. All of these are more warm in person than they're showing up on camera. So just remember that. It's really pretty. I'm keeping that one. I'm keeping all of these, I think. Um, Revlon Berry. I'm keeping this one. It's actually like... A really unique shade like not what I would picture for Barry it's slightly less dark more like light pink than it is on camera and I really like that one and then the very last product is the Tati LOC um, what is this called wildest dreams that's that one there I gave it yellow just because I want to compare all of my reds and figure out which one's the best but I really like the way this looks so there we go okay those are all of the products from the last two weeks let's go pick out some new products Oh, wait, let me show you all the products I'm getting rid of. There's a lot this time. They're all in this box. Oh, fuck. Let me count. One, two, 25. You guys, I got rid of 25 products this time. That's crazy. Okay, let's go pick products. Okay, so let's pick five of these. And I think one of these is actually an oil. Uh, DKNY New York Versace Pro Homme. That's a cologne. Gucci by Gucci, which Pro Homme. Oh, damn. Uh, Lacoste. And the Ogen hair oil. Alrighty, so I think we are finishing up this drawer this week. So we've got three more lip crowns. The um, Elf, I think this is like the day to night thing in Need It Nudes. Then we have this MAC. It's a really me patent polished lip pencil. I think I got this on Hot Look. And then the Bite Beauty in Pastille. Oh, that's like a berry. Pretty. And then we are done with those. Two lip liners. So there's the Ivy Y Beauty in blush. And then ColourPop Aquarius. This is my favorite. And then the last three lip balms. Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel. This is the Hard Candy Lip Oil. It's like a tint. I think it's in Strawberry. Zen Strawberry. And then we have this Bite Beauty Lip primer which I'll probably get rid of alrighty so we finished brows last time the um, mascaras remember these are all unopened so I don't want to open those five eyeliners this is what we did last time so the blue julep eyeliner ocean blue sorry I'm sniffling I don't feel great the I think this is Lancome drama liquid pencil liquid pencil I don't know Maybelline eye studio black eyeliner the purple Almay liner and the purple NYX Vivid Brights liquid liner. This is a brush tip. Then we may as well finish off the cream shadows because this is all that is left. Ow. I don't know why I just said ow. So there's two of these Steel and Magnificent Metals in Smoldering Satin, which is the full size, and Kitten Karma, which is the miniature. And then this is the Revlon Color Stay in 755. And then my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And then for powders, we'll do three this time and three the next time. These are my three powders for this time. ColourPop, this is Midnight. Yes, it's like a black, green, gold. It's very unique. Then my Urban Decay Single in um, Midnight Cowboy. The color is actually really good today. I don't know what... Don't know what I did. And then this is the Ardency in single in Night Lights powder. It's like a green iridescent. Well, it's hard to show. You guys can kind of see the green tint. It's really beautiful. So we've got the last of the powders. So the NYX HD Finish Cream Powder in Banana. And then the rest are all loose powders. So we've got the Fiona Styles. I think this is the trend. No. Invisible Finish Loose Setting Powder in Madison. If you guys can find that powder, I highly recommend it. Koki Translucent Powder in Translucent. And the 
NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. This is tinted. This is in naturally beige. So I just can't use that when I'm super duper fair. And then for highlights, one, two, three, four. Hey, magnets. We'll do four this time and uh, four the next time. So Wet n Wild in Lilac to Reality. This is the only purple highlighter I have. This is Becca Champagne Pop. Yes, this is Champagne Pop. No way in hell I'm getting rid of that one. Oh, let me bring my light down. Um, this one is Sonia Kashuk. Chic Luminosity Bronzer Highlight Duo. And then this is Prosecco Pop. Also Champagne Pop. I mean, also by Becca. More golden. What just happened to my lighting? I literally just said how the lighting was so good. So that's it for that drawer. And we'll have one more episode of highlighters. Three more primers. We're just going to grab all three of them. And the ones back there, those are hand creams. So this is the Nano Blur Instant Correction Primer thing. Um, I'm going to try it out. I think I got this in like a glossy box or something. It's weird. The Temp2 Matte Smooth and Matte Primer. And then the Cover FX Illuminating Base. Those are the three primers. Three more cream highlights. The Jordana Glow and Go. The Sephora, uh, I don't even know what these are, Radiant Luminizing Drops. These are beautiful. And then the last of these Cover FX um, Custom Enhancer Drops. This one is in Rose Gold. Let's pull Matte and Poreless. Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, my Urban Decay All Nighters, the Maybelline Dream Cushion, the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, and then Clinique Beyond Perfecting. That's five. Damn, there's like literally two left. I did not count this well. This is not a. These are both foundation mixers, so we'll pull both of them. Fuck it. Then we're also gonna pull the Glamouflage Makeup Pigment Drops and the Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick. Okay, the last setting spray, Mario Badescu. The last moisturizers, that's a sunscreen. This is the last moisturizer, it's the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. Eyeshadow palettes, let's pull this stack. I know this isn't the exciting stack, but hey, save the best for last. So in this stack, we've got the Urban Decay Urban Vices. The only reason I have kept this is for that purple shade and if I'm not going to use it I need to get rid of it then this is my set of singles we've got some Makeup Geek some MAC some I think Ofra whole bunch of random stuff the Too Faced Natural Matte palette the other Milani palette this one is in Earthy Elements the Winky Lux Kitten palette this is a very colorful palette came in a boxy charm and then the other of my wet and wild palettes and then those ones will be for the next time okay so up here we've got the last three bronzers this is the elf bronzer palette so it's technically a palette but it's only bronzer so that's gonna count then the Ciate bamboo bronzer Park Ave princess bronzer this is the shimmery one and then for blushes I'm gonna pull three now and three the next well four now and three the next time so we're gonna pull these two tart ones in party and expose party and concept i feel like these probably look really similar oh no they're different okay milani romantic rose and the other l'oreal true match blush in barely blushing all right seven lip lipsticks we have revlon fire and ice this is like a bright red orange maybelline nude lust this is not a matte this is just a really pretty nude the other revlon is in pink in the afternoon it's just a pretty pink kind of like a almost a corally pink then the last drugstore one this is l'oreal fairest nude very similar these are all gonna look very similar la mercier sensual that that's the same color. We've seen that color before. Milk Cream, Bare Minerals, Jed Nude, Honey Bun, the Makeup Forever Lipstick, and Cinnamon. 6N. I forgot Makeup Forever doesn't have names for things, just letters. Then Lip Gloss. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we need 8. Alrighty. 8 lip glosses. 
Lip Lacquer from Model Co. Over the Top Gloss from Dose of Colors, Katie and Desi. L'Oreal Infallible Paints in Nude Star. Milani Amore Shine Lip Gloss thing in Delight. This Dior Addict Lip Plumper Lip Maximizer. Trust Fun Beauty Lip Gloss in Method to the Madness. So likely to get rid of that. Um, the Anastasia Gloss in Kristen. Why do I feel like I've done that already? And then the last gloss is this Revlon gloss in Pink Snow. No, this is a different one. Sandstorm. That's really pretty. I hope that you guys can see how pretty that is. And then liquid lipstick. Ten products. One of them is not a liquid lipstick. It was in the wrong place, so I'll show you that one first. This is actually a lipstick lip gloss duo from um, Flower. This is the Mix and Matte Lip Duo in Honey Nude. Tarte uh, Exposed. Liquid lip paint. That's a quick drying one. Huda Beauty Muse, a Muse, Muse, a sample. Uh, Smashbox Always On in Stepping Out. This one's pretty dark for me. Ofra. This one's probably gonna go, but maybe I might just keep it just because it's unique. This is in Napa Valley. L'Oreal Lip Infallible Paint Matte in Tongue Tied, and the same thing in Skinny Dip. The Ofra Bel Air Liquid Lipstick. Revlon Matte. This is in Seduction. And then Super Stay Matte Ink in Heroin. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Let me show you guys the box really quickly. We have a lot of stuff. So I look like a mess, but I just wanted to sign out for episode seven. I hope you guys are still enjoying this. Comment down below any requests for other videos, um, whether or not you guys are into me changing up and not doing skincare anymore. Um, anything you want to comment, let me know. Subscribe. We're almost at a thousand. Thank you guys so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart and I'll talk to you guys next time.